Monty Carly, and this is 80s. I am uh, still playing, I'm playing catch up. I'm playing a lot of catch up on uh, content that I missed of theirs from the uh, first half of the year here. Just uh, various interviews and all that good stuff. So this is uh, 80s Answers Fan Questions, and I'm going to tack another short one onto the end of here that's uh, something about the height is a real problem. <laughs> It's a real issue. It's very sad. It's a bunch of short guys with a couple of big ones. <laughs> Coffee. Okay. What channel is this from? I forgot. Hold on. This is me not having my stuff together this morning. It's fine. BuzzFeed UK. BuzzFeed UK is where this one is from. And uh, let me actually double check the date. I think this is the earlier. No, this is the uh, later one. This is from May. I think the other one's from like April. So, all right. Earbuds on. One, two, three. Go. Hi, we are 80s. Hello, my name is Songhua. Hello, my name is Xiao Sang. Hi, I'm 80s anchor. You know, nice to meet you. <laughs> Can I just say I really like Sungwa's uh, speaking voice? <laughs> Hello, yeah. my name is Jongho. I'm San. I, I... <laughs> I'm San. I'm <laughs> Young. Young forever. Yeah. 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 And I'm Hong Jung. I'm Mingi. Cool. Cool. Okay. Among all of the hair colors they tried, what is the color they like the most? So in my case, I like this hair now. Oh. Yeah, he my likes favorite. The, uh... My favorite. Yeah, hey. Hongluella, like Corella. Yeah. <laughs> like Cor really? I, I have yet to see that movie. I haven't. Well, I've seen the original 101 Dalmatians, but I haven't seen the Corella film. I don't have kids, y'all. <laughs> so, I, I sometimes still watch kids' movies, anyways. But still, that's uh, yeah. Uh, for. Uh, for me, I liked my green hair from the wave, uh, but then a little washed out version of that, like the mint color. <laughs> my favorite hair color was when we were performing Inception. I had white hair. I really liked that. I love black hair, but now I love this blonde hair too. My, our fans love that. No, I like him with the black hair better, personally. I think the black hair looks better on him, a lot more natural looking. Uh, how do they manage to stay motivated through all of their activities and make content, considering that they're one of the hardest working groups out there? Nice question. Because our fans are always waiting for that. So we can't stop with working because they're well. always waiting for us. And that's why we work hard. I agree with Hong Jung because 18 is always say for us, oh, it's hard work, hard work. Uh, but when we think about the music that we love uh, to perform and communicating with our fans, I want to call it a memory and experience rather than just work. Cool. My motivation these days is that the pandemic is somewhat at a turning point and we've started performing where we can meet 18s in person yeah i can imagine that being a massive motivation for a lot of different groups to actually be able to get back to uh, performing in front of people that's for a lot of these guys that's that's energy and and be there together when we sing and perform now, that's my own motivation to keep going lately yes yeah. next question <laughs> Yeah, dude, his English has gotten so much better. Very good. Uh, how do you prepare yourselves before going out on stage? Are there any specific routines you do? We have a group stretching session together. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that reminds me of my soccer days. Everybody get in a circle. Uh, that's a must. It's really helpful, too. Nice. Same thing. Job, uh, okay. but Same we thing. We stretch it, then we exercise a little bit before <laughs> on the stage. That's all together. And <laughs> routine, right? Do you have individual. any personal routines, individual ones? <laughs> Sunghwa? Oh, no. ah, I just cracked so, my back. So, in this tour season, the opening song is Wonderland, Wonderland, and that start is from me. But that start is really powerful and very high note yeah. when I start with okay. rap. So, before the stage, I always <laughs> shouting first. Yeah. He's got to ah! warm up his yes, voice yes, so yes, he can come out first, strong, nice. First phrase is, Eyes on me now! So, yeah. before the stage, I have to warm up. 
Warm up. Yeah, warm. Up. Yeah, warm <laughs> so I ha have to stretch yeah. my yeah, throat too. So. I love your sentence. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I love this sentence. Yeah. But how long are you shouting? <laughs> thank you, Sean. <laughs> thank you. Uh, but how long have you shouted for about shouted behind stage? Ah, uh, like twenty minutes. <laughs> That's a lot of shouting. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever think of writing a book on ATS's storyline? I'm gonna guess no. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess no. <laughs> but I would be interested though. I would help you guys edit that. Uh, Jungo, what do you think? Have you thought about that? How do you think, Jungo? I just thought about it now, and it sounds like a great idea, and in the book, we could include all of our comments individually, and you know the writer's message section. We could have that in eight different versions and put them in there. Like a thanks to yeah, like that. Yeah, How about you? Um, pirate. Pirate king. Pirate king. Yeah, pirate king. Cause our debut song. Good title. Good title. Pirate king. What is the song that you're listening on loop right now? I have a song that I've been playing every morning for a long time. Closer. Chainsmokers. Closer by Chainsmoker. When I play it in the morning, it's kind of like a chain smoker right there. I feel like I can start the morning fresh and energetic. When we were training, that's like that's one of warm up song. Yeah, and also in my case. I like many artists in UK, so like especially David Bowie and and One Direction. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, and also Harry Styles. Yeah, every yeah. So yeah, that's my loop these days. Way to cater to the UK interviewer. Even though I'm not sure that's a UK interviewer. I heard the uh, accent uh, when the, they were asking a question there. That wasn't UK. Uh, what's one of the funniest things that happened on tour? On the back of our outfits for concerts, now we have name tags. Like for me and Mingi, we're supposed to take that off before going on stage, but I forgot to. So I just had a tag here with my name on it, Mingi. So during the concert, someone, maybe Hongju? Yeah, I took it off. And some of our fans had a video of that and shared it, saying it was funny. When I woke up in the morning, I see Uyong's face. I'm really happy. Really happy. Uyong doesn't react at all. It's like, just the truth. What? Hey son, hey son, you too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's a really bad guy. Yeah. He's a really bad guy. <laughs> There's your glasses oh, story too. During a performance, Hong Jung took out a pair of sunglasses. <laughs> but one glass was missing. But he didn't realize it until the end of the show. As you weren't there. I watched the video of that. I thought you did it on purpose as a fashion thing. But I it must have been really dark to not realize you had one missing in your sunglasses. <laughs> oh, but I didn't know on stage, so I played the whole song. Yeah, so I played or horror songs and after show I knew that but our fans t told me I think they think they thought that I did that for the fashion yeah, fashion yeah fashion. so like they make some nickname with that glasses that glasses name is Cruella glasses oh, yeah, yeah. yeah so he did it to match his hair right uh -huh. is what is your favorite meme that's an English accent. Wow. What's your favorite meme? We recently we filmed a meme after a uh, show in Korea, did it say? After a show in Spain. Oh, the video, that's a really popular meme in Korea right now. Hey, Young. How much do you love your fans? How much do you love Etini? Please express with your body. Yeah. Let's go. For a second, there, goodness. Yeah, yeah. What's it? Is that Wu design? Wu Wu Young Mi. What are 
like yeah. Oh. yeah. He yeah. love he it. He's my energy. Yeah. Yes. His love is so powerful. Wait, let's talk. Ta- let's shout to Aitini. Yeah. Love you. Okay. Aitini. Okay. Love you. Okay, thank you What's for gi- <laughs> giving many questions to us, and thank you for your love. And every time, thank you for waiting for us. So we prepared many things for you. So many things for you. So keep watching us. Thank you for watching this video well, too. Thank you. I have to say, I love San speaking in English because he is just so confident about it. <laughs> He's just like. I love that sentence. <laughs> oh, you go, buddy. <laughs> All right, what what's this one called? This is called uh, the height is a sensitive topic. Um. <clears throat> All right. From March, not April, March. I don't know what this is gonna be, but I do know that uh, there's a lot of short guys in eighties. Eighties, let's go out. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. Hey, bud. Hi, how are you? I have a cat meowing at me. You want to see him? Come on, Rice. Come here. Oh. Oh. Buddy. All right. Episode 14, The Secret of Being Tall. What are you doing? Move that yourself. Thank you. Mm. Here's the next message. Read my message quickly. And give a prize. My age? Very curious. I'm 18. Are you guys handsome? By the way, honestly, I think ATs is handsome. We're no different from you. Don't interrupt me. I want to be tall and handsome. If you know how to, please tell me. And I will go. I will go when I go. So please give me a prize. I think we're Formex One team. Formex One is team. The tallest person. It's Sunghua, right? Yeah. What are the advantages of Sunghua? Excuse you. He is well dressed because of his good proportion. Oh, oh, thank you. Is he skinny? please tell the secret. The secret? I did what I wanted to do. I did what I want to do what I wanted to do. Is it what? I did. <laughs> what? <laughs> I did what I want to do what I wanted to do. Ah, <laughs> Without stress. I think I did what I wanted to do when I wanted to do it is probably <laughs> something along the lines of that. He just said that he his genes were excellent. <laughs> Pretty much. You, I mean, there's nutrition is involved in it, but you don't have a whole lot of control. Like, my parents were 5'8 and 5'6. I was gonna be 5'6. It's just... Just... And my grandparents were there, and my, yeah, we all called my uh, middle brother the milkman's child because he's six foot. <clears throat> and we're like, God, nobody in our family is six foot. Like, nobody. <laughs> and we, until we went to a family reunion and saw my grandfather with his brothers, and my brother was standing next to them, and we're like, oh. <laughs> physically his face and everything he looked like that that's where he got his jeans <laughs> gotcha yeah they were they're, they're big <laughs> his my grandpa's brothers are big it's weird how jeans work <laughs> it's weird <laughs> so well, please thank your mother <laughs> and her mom told us to eat dried <laughs> small sardines be sure to eat dried sardines <laughs> Sardines actually aren't the worst thing ever. They're not. Oh, I ate a lot of dried, small sardines. Calcium is good, isn't it? Calcium. I used to eat what I was served with milk. I used to drink milk a lot. Wu Young didn't drink it, right? I used to drink a lot of milk. What caused this to happen? I've been dancing since I was little. It's a burden on my knees. That's why I don't grow any taller. Excuse? Kim Gong will sing it. Excuse. 
Please eat a lot of dried small sardines. These stories are the same as what our parents are saying. Drink a lot of milk. Let's go to sleep when we go to sleep. Don't touch your phone at night. Go to sleep. Then, you can be like ATZ's Park Song Walk. So please listen to your mom. <laughs> all over the place it's awesome if you're talking about height say it's <laughs> oh, uh, Jung -ho. Ah, that's right he's uh 184 centimeters i need to get my centimeters down i think that is like really close to um six foot isn't it hang on uh centimeters two inches boom 184 no, not 84. 184. Would be 72 inches, which is actually just a hair over 72, which is a hair over 6 foot. Okay. Fantastic. <sighs> it was uh, 186. Did you grow? So tall. Really tall. Please eat a lot of dried sardines and drink a lot of milk. I should probably put that back up on screen. There. I don't like milk. <laughs> I mean, milk milk is fine taste wise, but it makes me mucusy. I will go when I go, so I'll give you Bingley you. banana milk. Mm. Episode three. <laughs> Controversy of the order of height. Next message is from 4410. I'm 16, and my nickname is Super Tiny Pinky. <laughs> the reason why my nickname is Tiny is because I'm not very short. My student number, line up in the order of the name, is always number one. It's also number one when we line up in order of height. What number was 80s? Hey, every morning, I wait for the bus, listen to the school road. I'm looking forward to talking with my friends about the school road every lunch. What number was it? I'm always the very end of the line. Because I'm the biggest. <laughs> do, do you know that's the most miserable thing to say like that? <laughs> Young is in order of name, in order of that, you're always number one. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I understood only in order of name. I won't tell you. <laughs> I always in order of height. I'm always in the back. <laughs> I think I was a little above the middle. It's really? A... But, you know, is always in the very end of the line, right? I was always in the back. What about Hyung? <laughs> Somebody just stifled a laugh back there. However, there are many good things for the person in the front more than we thought. Not so. In the front, for example, on sports day. Yeah, <laughs> nice picture. We can take the lead in the line. This is a sample image. It's not talking about Hong Jung. Thank you for clarifying that. <laughs> uh, when I was in elementary school, the person in the front <laughs> was the one <laughs> first. <laughs> if we, if we got it from the person uh, oh, it was in the front <laughs> first. Yeah. But when I was in elementary school, <laughs> I was in the front. Really? Yes, I was in the front. What number was it? <laughs> when I was in elementary school, was it number seven or six? Maybe in order of height. I'm not sure. Anyway, I was jealous of the person in the front. The person in the front. <laughs> so, Jungle wasn't necessarily the shortest in his elementary or school days, whatever, but maybe Hong Jung kind of was. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of good things. Young was in the front, right? <laughs> no, I was in the back. What are you jealous of? There's, you don't have to be tall. It's fine. Being short is fine. There, there are a lot of good things in the front. The person in the front... Uh, going fast. Uh, okay. Uh, the person in the front always could have the lunch first. But these days, we line up in order of student number rather than height. <laughs> 
my student number was always <laughs> the last one. Yeah. Yeah. Because my last name is Chun. That's, that's right. Ah, I envy you, cutie. Like this, the person in the front. That's a good thing, cutie. I, always, I was always jealous. Oh, man. Poor Hong Jun trying to be tall. Poor guy. <laughs> You're not tall. It's fine. Don't worry about being tall. Don't worry about being tall. It's fine. Five foot six is a great height. I, I think so. All right. I have to go to the. I have to go to the store. So I'm gonna go to the store. I will see you all later. You all have yourselves a uh, wonderful day, and I'm gonna keep catching up on AT stuff. So this will be fun. Ta ta.